Hello adventurers. So what does your very average YouTube adventure film creator do when he goes on a family holiday? Well, we're about to find out. We're up here at Calberry, got here um, just a couple of hours ago. Just come up onto the point, I'm going to take some uh, sunset shots. But uh, yeah, so this this trip's just a family trip. We're going to do some things we haven't done before at Calberry. I've been here many, many times, a um, hundred or more, um, got family here. We're going to do some things like uh, kayaking in the gorges, we're going to look at the Skywalk, I know that's uh, fairly easy to get to. Um, and um, been around a little while I guess, but lots of video about that but I haven't been there. Do some fishing, hopefully get the fishing rig out and uh, catch some fish. Just the standard family stuff um, that I thought I'd grab a bit of video here and there and put it together. So <clears throat> hopefully um, gives people a bit of an idea of uh, things to do in Calberry. So let's uh, go and have a look at this sunset and a bit of a look around. Head back to the car and back to the house. There's one thing about those sunsets is they uh, never get old, do they? Doesn't matter how many you see, uh, they are always magnificent. Hopefully there'll be plenty more of them, but let's get back to the car and uh, let's go and get set up for tomorrow. It's the next morning and uh, just waiting to get picked up. A uh, bus should come around and pick us up. We're going to head out to the gorges and uh, do some canoeing up the gorges uh, this morning. So that should be uh, pretty cool. Never done that. Um, guess the water isn't flowing. I guess it's just lagoons. So it should be just nice and a nice still paddle. So we've got the whole crew coming. So the uh, bus should be here soon. There. Guys. So 
we're out at the canoeing place. A little bit of a four-wheel drive trip in, as you can see by the back tyre. A few rocks. You're right with your GoPro, but not with your phones up like that, guys, because wrist, shoulders. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Takes an extra five minutes. The rescue out here takes about six to seven hours by the time you get the authorities out here. So you want to start making your way down that pathway? I'm going to okay. grab my backpack. So off we go to the canoes. So we've got to the bottom. It doesn't get much better than this, does it? Check out that for scenery. So around the side must be the water and the canoes. So I'm at the back of the field. So not to hold people up. Videoing. on the eastern side of the National Park measure the river at about one metre. So down there a metre. On the Tuesday it dropped to half a metre. Right. On the Thursday it deposited all this debris up here at four and a half metres. The following Tuesday it was back down to two metres. So it dropped. The reason So this is not a not a hard walk down. There's a couple of little bits where you need steps, um, but it's not overly difficult to uh, to get to here uh, down the, the side of the the hill. So you don't have to be overly fit. Check that out. You can hear the echoing off the off the walls. You can see the bottom of the bottom of the uh, canyon through that water. It's that clear. Beautiful little spot in here. It's water dripping down everywhere. But we've ended up where the canoes are. So this is the start of the canoe part. There's a little, little, uh, neat little setup. I'll spin you around. Okay, we're on our way to the canoes and kayaks. So we're heading down the gorges at Calberry on the kayak. Couldn't be a better day.
layers in the rock. Like a big chocolate cake. So we're halfway. Three kilometres down the Murchison Gorge. This is as far as you can go. So I'm just going to swap seats, get in the back and uh, paddle back. But there's the last of them coming in. Really nice spot. Fine, if I can do it, literally anyone can. Look at this little crevasse. Water must rip through here, has ripped this out over thousands of years and made this. It's about the perfect natural stair, just a set of stairs. Directly behind you, Eleanor, up there, no? been it echoes down there so we've just been clapping and seeing how long it takes to echo back we can yell out I bought a Jeep see what we get back natural steps That's it, we're nearly back at the bus to go back to town. So that's definitely worth doing. Uh, look up the guys that do the canoe tours. I'm not sure if there's more than one. I'll get the name off the side of the bus. Definitely worth doing. Um, it's been a perfect day today. It's on the warm wrist side, but just as I like it. So that's uh, been a good day. Okay, back to the bus. back home. Now we've got to head down the tackle shop to get some leader and get ready to go fishing this afternoon. So we've loaded up, I've got everything in there, tackle everything is in there, rods in the car and we're heading down to the uh, boat ramp and we'll get them across the river and then head north. So we're about to head off. So just down at the boat ramp this is where you'll see the rig for getting these things across the river which is pretty cool in its own right. Um, this was made in um, our farm shed um, a few years ago specifically for doing this job. So this is basically a drive on drive off barge called the Polaris Express 40 horsepower E-Tech Evinrude and it uh, fits one bike. We'll just get him in place and then uh, float it off. It's off. So now we'll take this one bike over and come back and get the other one.
got the yellow one on. Hopefully we have a good day. Okay, we head up north. So this is the spot. So it's pretty weedy wherever it's been. Sun setting. So we're going to go and try and find a less weedy spot. But we'll see how we go. We've been up and down the coast. It's pretty weedy. I want to say weed, a lot of weed. Unfishable, just about. So. We're going to try and find a spot, but uh, maybe we'll have to come back out later, or later in the week. Okay, let's get on the bikes. Here on the edge of Oyster Reef, Calberry is just over there on the other side of the river. So we've come all the way back to here trying to get out of the wheat. Let's cast and see how we go. So we're going to call it quits, it's just really, really weedy. Can't really uh, get a line out for a second, so oh, got to climb up here. Hang on. back across the river with one bike we'll come back and get the other one on the bank there it's up the river to the town the town's up there where are we heading we're heading over here So the fishing, um, yeah, it didn't go so well. Too much weed. Uh, three seconds after you threw your line, and you were just covered in weed and getting dragged around. It was ridiculous. So we caught it quits early, but I gave the bike a good run, gave my gear a good run. Um, pretty well know how all that's going to work. Um, all uh, passed, so that's good. One of the the other bike I was with has done a CV joint, so we're actually going to go back uh, this afternoon and, and uh, start to look at that. But 
This is Kalbarri actually, it's beautiful. You don't see it like this very often. It's um, hardly a breath of wind and it's dead flat. So I guess this makes up for the lack of fishing and the weed. We're gonna head out um, to the Skywalk. Um, have a look at that, I haven't seen it before. It's uh, something new for me, it's been around a while. There's lots of videos on it, but we'll head out to that. And then we're going to, um, as I said earlier, probably have a look at this CV joint on this four wheeler. So let's uh, get on with it. Catch you out there. So we're heading out to the Skywalk. This is heading out the path. And they've uh, inlaid all the path with all sorts of designs. It's pretty cool. I guess it gives access to uh, lots of people who generally wouldn't have had access to this. So this is the Skywalk, it's all made out of steel they've just let go rusty which looks really cool and um, this is the actual main one of the skywalks here let's, let's take a walk out it's a pretty good view up there. It's a pretty cool view for sure. So let's go and take a look at the other side. It's uh, like a double, there's two of these uh, skywalks. We'll move over to the other one. This one's a bit smaller than the other one. Doesn't stick out so far. You can see the other one over there. Definitely gives you a, doesn't stick out far, but definitely gives you a totally different perspective. good setup really generally not a fan of putting in these sorts of things in these sort of natural areas but they've done a good job of it keeping it all sort of rusty where they can and and blending in gives good access to people who might not be able to come out to a place like this so I think worth it there's quite a few little interpretive sections like this What's these little, this is uh, some of the fossil tracks are made by these ancient long gone creatures. And I think there's a bigger version of it around here. So the tracks of these are all through this gorge. One thing that uh, is evident out here is the amount of drones. Um, they are everywhere. I didn't bring mine out because I didn't want to annoy people, this being sort of a, a touristy thing, but 
there is a lot of drones and they're probably going to do something about it, I would say, if they haven't already. Maybe people are just flying anyway. It doesn't worry me so much, but um, I know a lot of people don't like it. Just going to check out the little shop here, grab a coffee, see what's in here. Standard coffee shop. Bit of a board about making the skywalk. Well, you can see there how it's anchored in. So that's the skywalk. We're heading back to the car. It's definitely worth coming to and um, definitely worth uh, spending an hour there to uh, take a look. Okay, well, let's uh, get to the car and head back to town. Been back for a bit and done the CV on the bike, so I'll just show you what we did. Um, not a big job, just very dirty, but uh, CV's out and it's, uh, I pulled it apart, cleaned it up and it's back together, but we need to replace it because it's run for a fair while without a boot. Um, without a boot sealing out the sand, so let's go take a look. So you just got to pull it out from in the sort of back right angle drive diff. Pull the hub down and, and it just pops out. It actually fell apart, so we had to uh, use a couple of levers to pop him out. And this is a CV all cleaned up without the boot on. You can see the balls in there. Let's put it back together. need to replace that. Well that's the CV you saw but um, did a bit of ringing around and it doesn't look like anybody is working today being New Year's Eve so we won't be able to get a shaft so this bike's out of action we just stick with uh, the yellow one. So uh, yeah it is what it is and we'll uh, keep on trucking but uh, we'll have to get a spare shaft probably do all the shafts on it while we're doing it um, bring them all back to new. Okay, well, it's New Year's Eve, so maybe it's time to uh, go and have a beer. Today is a day of just heading around on the other side of the river with the bikes We're gonna and the boat. We're going to put the boat in, uh, do some uh, boogie boarding, things like that, and while we're over there, we'll take the bike and go for a bit of an explore. The kids want to do that, so we'll get the bike off and uh, get it ready to put on the boat. off for a day of sitting at the beach, boogie boarding, swimming, snorkeling and four wheel drive, four wheel motorbike riding. And the wind's a bit stiffer today compared to yesterday. off and getting set up ready to hit the water.
while the family sit there on the beach uh, doing their thing, I'm going to go for a bit of a spin on the bike. So that's Oyster Reef and Calbarries over there. So we'll go have a look. This is directly opposite the other side of the river to Kalbarri. You can see a boat coming in there. There's the jetty. Chinaman's is over here. Sand spits here. And this side is it's got a big flat sort of sand area with some small dunes. We often come over this side fishing because there's no one here. So it's all sand here now, but this is often all rock and cut out, but it's all sand. They used to dredge the river, or they have done dredge the river a lot and dump the sand here. Uh, I don't know if that's this sand, but it comes and goes. There's a big crow boat coming in. It's a full moon at the moment, so I think they're pulling their pots out. That's the, uh, that goes up like the Zoitdorp cliffs, and if you keep on following around, it goes all the way around to Shark Bay, heading north that way. And there's a little, you can't, probably can't see it, but there's a little bald patch of sand up there. That's right at one of the fishing spots we go to on the motorbikes. So that's uh, this side of the river, at uh, the north side of Kalbarri. Oh, well, we'll turn around and we'll head back. Um, we we're going to do some um, boogie boarding on the back of the boat, but the rope we got, I don't like the look of the rope we got, so we're not going to do that. Um, I didn't want it to snap and hit someone in the face. So we'll head back. See there maybe there's a boat coming in. Um, looks like I don't know, it looks like the uh, charter boat, so it'd be full of people that one. Okay, let's head back. That's it for our time on the other side of the river. So we'll uh, put the bike up onto the boat. to the boat ramp. Looks like there's a bit of a queue so I might have to wait. There we go. We're all packed up back on the trailer ready to head back to the house. We're going to get a coffee on the way. Okay that's it for the other side of the river um, shenanigans. Let's uh, go to the coffee. So I decided to come down and do one last fish because we'll leave it tomorrow morning early. Just down here at Red Bluff because it's an easy fish. I'm um, just setting up. There's actually no one else here, which is good. New Year's Day. I'm um, hoping you can hear this because it's quite windy. As you can see, I've got my hat held down. But um, in here, it's nice and calm, so it'll be a good, um, you know, good afternoon's fishing. A little bit of breeze. So let's uh, get the gear set up. Just a bit of mullet and a uh, snooted hook set up. The hook's just snooted onto the line. Just through the skin side to make it nice and uh, secure. And then I just use a bit of this sometimes to um, to make sure it stays on. A bit of this uh, cotton stuff. I hope you can hear because it's 
blowing a gale, well, well not a gale but it's blowing quite a bit, if I can get that under my finger, I'll just go around and around with this thread and it just keeps the pickers off for a little bit longer, keeps everything straight, just do a couple of laps. just stops stops it from falling apart and then I'm using these things here uh, these keep these stick in the sand like nothing else and then the wires let go when you pull it back and then I just this little hook here goes on here and that just keeps the rig all together and for a good cast There's only pickers out there at the moment um, picking the bait apart um, but there's not very many people here so that's good it's uh, pretty sparse at the moment so if it stays like that until sundown hopefully um, there won't be too many lines so uh, we'll have a better chance and hopefully at around sundown we start to get the bigger fish uh, at the moment really nothing out there except uh, pickers picking at the bait but uh, I'll get back I'll get this bait back out in the water because uh, you're obviously not going to catch a fish unless you have a bait in the water. So let's uh, get on with it. So this is the reel that I got for Christmas and the rod and this is my first egg beater. I'm used to alvey reels. Oh, I had a bite then, little one. I'm used to alvey reels so this is all a bit new but it's actually really nice to use, really easy to fish with. This is a high mount reel too, first high mount reel that I've had, most of mine are, are low mounts. But uh, so far so good. So the sun has gone down over the other side of the rock, uh, the pickers have gone away so our baits are staying on, hopefully the bigger fish are uh, on their way. We'll keep on fishing and see how we go and the minute that we get one on I will crank the camera up so I'll get another bait out there. So we got something bigger on now. Took a heap of line. Oh, there he goes.
always had to be that tall early on, but now it's just... So we have a big shark, or maybe a big mulloway, but most likely a big shark. Doesn't look like a stingray, it's got a bit of head shake. Um, it's been out there for a while. Slowly getting it back, we'll see how we go. Here is it. Put him back. Huh? I'll put him back already. So what is he about? Five feet long, four four feet long. I don't grab my phone. I'll give a better shot. You gonna try and get your hooks? Oh, there's one hook in there. I've got a. You need pliers? Okay, put him back. Getting some help from these other guys. Okay guys, that's it. Uh, we're packing up and heading back to the car. Um, only got the shovel nose tonight, so that's all. But uh, I never got to bend the rod and test the reel, but there's always next time. Tomorrow I'm heading back to Perth. Probably not a lot of videos, so uh, we'll call this probably the end of the video. So I hope you've enjoyed, and until the next one, have fun, and uh, catch you out there.